Good to see you. Good to see you again. <laughs> Should I wear this? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll do it like this, huh? No, we, have, we have to show the, the words to the, the camera. So we have to do like... Uh, Let me see. Okay. We'll hold one end uh, each one. Oh, no, this one. Oh. You stand over here. I'll stand over here. Photo over there. Photo over there. We hold each other here. Good? With thumbs up. With thumbs up? Okay. <laughs> They will kill me in Jakarta after this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, this is cultural diplomacy. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah. Thanks for taking time. Yeah. Preparing for 60 years. Exactly. This year, everyone was very hectic. Super big period. Uh, the president ordered only two months yeah. for such big event. Okay. The last one, 10 years ago, was prepared a year. No, it's not two months. It's because so it's a lot of confidence like, you do in two, two months of no, This is the dignity of the country, so I have to make sure everything is okay. uh, uh, hmm? how many How many people do you expect will be in London for, for the summer? 80 countries already confirmed. Uh, 1,300 uh, journalists, all of the world coming. So it's a big thing. That's why I'm fixing many area and also uh, 60 events in Bandung. Yeah. And in Bandung, everybody is very happy. Yes. We have uh, people's celebrations yes. during yes. The, the, the day day. Yeah. We have a Smart City Summit coming yes. also. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, maybe you already heard it. This is my day for see you. Hello. Yeah. And we have a uh, human rights conference. Yeah. We might be interested also because Bandung will be the first by UN in Indonesia to start the campaign of smart uh, human rights city. Yes, exactly. It's, yeah. it's, it, it means we translated this issue of human rights declaration into details, okay. into program, making exactly. sure the uh, the voice of children is heard, making yeah. sure the voice of elderly is heard, making yes. sure the voice of disability people is heard, making yes. sure all minorities. Yeah. Because before it was just unspoken norm. Yeah. But now in Bandung we make it as a, yeah. as, as a law. Did you also, I mean, with, your, with your background in United States, did you also translate it into sort of urban rights in the sense that you know cities will become more livable and will be better from a human That's point why of view the, the the slogan for us in Bandung is to make Bandung livable and lovable. Yeah. yeah. Livable it means function as a modern city. Lovable means we want to bring the intangible value into something real. Yeah. And this is what we call uh, Bandung Comment Center. Fantastic. I just uh, had a quick tour before you. Oh, were okay. Yeah, super, so super interesting. Basically, we control. We try to observe everything. Yeah. We try to control the management of the city. Yeah. And we try to connect with the people. Yes. From this room. Uh, so uh, data from the CCTV, data from the internet. Yeah. Uh, and data also from uh, internal uh, departments. Before asking for a single paper, it takes hours. Yeah, yes. they go manually to the it's, room. It's still the same at the Danish Foreign Office, <laughs> so uh, you know we so have now, to leave. <laughs> so now, for example, and we make it like iPad user friendly. I will take a picture of you doing this. Yeah. This one you might be interested. Yes. Is what we call uh, social media mapping. Yeah. So this minute we can observe what people talk about yes. in which area. For example, uh, we have 30 districts in Bandung. Yeah. Yeah. It's still loading. But if we click. District Chichendo, for example. Yeah. Uh, in minutes, it should be 
loading with the data. The bigger the number, yeah. the more people talk about the subject. Yeah. So okay. they talk about this thing. Okay. Uh, different district, different uh, topic of discussion. Topics. Topics. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I can check the policy, for example. If we have, it's still under construction. Sure, sure. The policy of uh, human rights, the policy of free public bus, the policy of everything. Okay. Or we can subject the sector that people must talk about. Yeah. For example, today I want to know which area complain about the garbage. Yes. Yeah. So three district yes. talking about the garbage. So I can assign the head of district. Today to you it. focus on the garbage. Yes. And I will talk to different head of district, <coughs> different topics. Yeah. So this is. Uh, uh, a real breakthrough for us in terms of making decision. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because if we are efficient, we know what we do, we know what people complain and so on. And, and if I may ask, is this system then available only here or in your administration? Will there be other places where people can access it on a normal PC? Or? No, this one uh, is limited for our management. Yeah, yeah. If other city wants to have, they have to recreate the map because this is based on the map. Yeah. So the the map of Bandung is something like this. Yes. But I will share it to to institution <coughs> that needed this information for for better service. But actually, what I wanted to ask in in your in Bandung administration, if you are head of uh, of garbage. Can can that person access? Oh yeah. yeah. So he, he has he can he can he, he doesn't have to wait for you to tell yeah. the station. He can see okay tomorrow. And I better the, do this something. is this is not only for mayors. This yeah. is all for the units. Yes, exactly for management level basically. Yeah. For example, kejahatan is crime. Yeah. If I click this one, I should know which area crime mostly happen. My God. Yeah. So well, you know exactly where to put people. Huh? Yeah. So I enforce the police over yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, creating a system yeah. to the list of the issue of the crime. Yeah. What, what is the reason why one area is so extreme compared to the others? It is complex a lot about yeah. the issue. Yeah. So now I know which area. Uh, 30 district, this district has emphasized on different issues. Yes. For this Mujong Luar Kale, it means they, they need to focus on security. Yes. If I put the the floods, yeah? Yeah. yeah mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. You have to do it everywhere. Uh, it's a machet. I think machet usually... So uh, the data from one app will make our decision in this room very accurate. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's one thing. Yeah. Uh, this is the data from the internet. Other data that very interesting. For example, <coughs> three months ago. Uh, so we want to create 100 applications this year. Yeah. If I click this, this is, this is the location of projects. Yeah. For example, this is uh, for Museum Kaa for the conference Asia Africa. Yeah. I make lots of... Uh... So we have, I click. I also know how many, how much the budget already absorbed. Yeah. Times 100 locations, so I know this is slow, this is stop, this is moving okay. So yeah. uh, without having me to call my department yeah. to help me. Also, we ask the the the, uh, the staff to report by video as possible. So instead, I have to go for walking myself. Mm -hmm. I ask my staff to report. 
Yeah. So this is the progress this week, next week following. Uh, okay. So, so this is also for you accountability. Yeah. It's about holding the administration accountable to yeah. decisions made. Imagine if I build the whole city, mm. thousands of projects, how can I know the progress sure. that I'm comfortable sure. By this system, we create the system in Bandung to make sure uh, everything is under control. So this is SimCity in reality? <laughs> Huh? Maybe. Sure. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, can I, can I ask you? I saw it was YouTube. Does that mean that all citizens of Bandung can go in every week and see how far the party is progressing? From so 100 open. apps, there are apps only for us. Mm -hmm. There are apps will be open for public. Okay. Yeah. For this one, we can open for public. Okay. Public can control. Very interesting. Uh, by 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 knowing by knowing the the location of the projects. People can avoid the coordinate. For example, uh, citizen of Bandung this week we have five projects. This is the location, so they can reroute the commuting route to, to avoid the construction work. For example, so that's the benefit of. It. Uh, other. Before invention of this, it's very difficult for me to access the data of our property. Yes. I have to find a, a paper that yeah. show me, they have to dig. Now, everything is on the map. So as simple as digitizing data, as advanced as interactive with the, uh, the people, mm. that's how we want to achieve this work we call the smart city. Right? Yes. I know Bandung is still developing, yeah? but while we develop into the developed city, we create a system where we can produce an efficient government, we can make quick decision, better public service. So if I click one of these, this will get the data of including ownership, how much, and, uh, yeah, ownership is already but these are only for 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 public. I mean, owned uh, administration. Yeah. Owned. This one I cannot yes. release to public yeah. because there will be sure, sure. a speculation about sure. the property. And yeah. no. this yeah. is, it's just classified, for example. Yeah. So some we some we uh, uh, expose to public. Some is not. Can I just may on on this one? This is exactly what we've been doing in, in Denmark and in Copenhagen. And today the system is such that every citizen can go and click on any house and you can see the ownership and uh, the uh, the basic data is available uh, online. So, um, yeah, so we are part of the open government yeah. uh, city that commit to be transparent, yeah, to fight corruption, but I'm using technology to observe also. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This one is if I want if I call my ambulance and I want to know where is my ambulance is it on the way or something happened yeah. or I want to check my school bus for my children for example this locally made software is checking that one so this caller school bus. So they have GPS on board? Yes. Yeah. So I can talk to the driver also. Yes. And I can have what we call uh, a geofence. Yes. If the bus is being abused going outside the city, I can stop the engine from here oh. by the input of the bus. So, uh, so this is also a tool for dealing with corruption in other words. So that's that's uh, something we we build in in Bando. Uh, we building the civilization of creating uh, human rights city is very basic. Yes. Meanwhile, also we progressing with the technology because Bandung plenty of good engineers, uh, world class engineers. I remember we have four not your neighboring country Norwegian company. 
world class project the office is in Bandung also surprised I just know when the ambassador of Norway come and said hey, Mr. Edwin, we have company in Bandung yes. they produce uh, a detailed 3D mapping yeah. so you can zoom in up to 5 meters with the 3D of any cities in the world yes. they have uh, I don't know many so I think uh, by this example we really wants to engage more to the global economy. Yeah. That's why I'm very happy you are here. So I have many aspirations with the Danish uh, uh, culture. Last time I went to Copenhagen, mm -hmm. 2013, January, okay. when it's a very, very cold. It's not the best time to I walk. <laughs> I walk the ice. Yes. The river of, yes. I don't know, the. Uh, the area, the famous area. Yes. Frozen. Yes, exactly. So all the. It's nice. It doesn't happen very often, so you were lucky in that sense. <laughs> I think I am before. Yeah. A loner trip. Yes. Yes. Because sometimes I need to be just myself. Yes. Yes. So I, I traveled to Sweden, to, yeah. to Denmark also. Yeah. Uh, it's a lovely city. I. Uh, <coughs> leaving Copenhagen, I started to create a bike sharing community. Yes. Because I'm inspired by your biking culture. Yes. I think if you ask one thing that Bandung really wants to have yes. a, a strong cooperation is about biking. Sounds great. How can I be assisted by you creating this? Uh, biking culture in Bandung. Yeah. Because Bandung once a bike city yeah. before the invention of modern yes. car. Yeah. Now the symbol of modern they go to having cars. Yeah. Now I want to flip. Yes. Come back. Bukan yang ini, coba ke it's a panic button. Yes. By your mobile. Yeah. So in Bandung if you happen to be emergency yeah. You, you download first the application, yeah. you tap it during the emergency, then the alarm will sound here. So I can dispatch the ambulance or the police because your your location is yeah. right in the map. And we have the apps of police patrol. Yeah. <coughs> so we can call the, 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 the car, the, the patrol who are near the accident. And this is available for all citizens of Bandung? Yeah, yeah still on the progress. Sure, sure. It will be launched in two months. If you are too panicked, we provide a small antenna from yeah. Motorik, just okay. in case you are yeah. super panicked. Too. Yes. But uh, to press the screen or you yeah. press the antenna, it's yeah. also the yeah. same. How long will it take for any assistant to come down? We want to make it in minutes. Uh, before you have to call. When you make a call, you have a luxury to call. But some accident, you don't have luxury time to do things. For example, you're in the crime scene. What you do? do? Yeah. Maybe you try to do a conversation while you tap your panic button. Yeah. That's the idea. Yeah. That's awesome. Just on on the biking uh, that you mentioned before. Um, it's great to hear that you are you're a fan of the biking culture in Denmark and the Netherlands. But, but uh, we we uh, we are very interested in helping promote biking in Indonesia. Um, and if you are interested, I think we would also be very happy to facilitate some of the urban planners in Copenhagen to to do something jointly uh, here on, on urban planning great. and livable cities. We I mean, we have some. Um, I mean, there are many places where biking is, is, is a strong element, but in Denmark and in Copenhagen, you know, more than 50% of the population uses bikes every day to go to work and to schools and everything. So, so this is an area where, where we would be very, very happy to have some sort of formalized uh, cooperation with, uh, with you and, and with the relevant city in Denmark. Um, the second thing I want to mention is that we, we're actually trying to promote biking in Indonesia also. And um, 
you know, having uh, having looked at the and your you proud the, football. You are the real Viking. Exactly. And we've actually, <laughs> we've actually created uh, something we call Viking Biking Indonesia. And it's a cooperation between uh, my embassy, uh, the embassy of Norway, and then uh, Bike to Work, Park Toto. Exactly. Um, and once every second month we go biking in Jakarta or in another city together with a celebrity of the IP. And, um, and if, you, if you think it would be a good idea, and I already spoke with uh, Patoto and with Pasti, we would be very happy to have a Viking biking event here in Bandung with you as uh, sort of the, the guest of honor or the instigator where we bike in the city and we have journalists, we create uh, attention on the, the possibilities of biking in, in cities. Um, you, you pick the date and the time and we will come here with a lot of uh, bikes and a lot of happy people uh, to, to try and help you promote this. Okay. Uh, weekend? Weekend, it can, be, it can also be during the, the week, uh, completely up to you. Um, okay. How should I contact? You, uh, you will get all our details, uh, all my details, and uh, you just let me know when, and then we can do it in, in May, we can do it in June, whenever it fits. Uh, if there's something you want to promote in Bandung, we could do it uh, at that station. And what we do in Japan is we invite everybody, it's open. Um, I think one month ago we we did it in Jakarta with uh, oh, there was actually yeah you can see um, we did it with uh, like Ahok um, and he was driving me around in a in a cargo bike cargo bike if you if you try and put uh, Dubis Denmark and uh, Governor Ahok no um, so your system is that based on sort of coins or you sign yeah. up or electronic you ask people you ask person okay. okay so very simple yeah. there's a person with your id yeah. it's an experiment as a community because before yeah. i became a mayor i was a social activist exactly i founded indonesian urban fund yeah. also and i founded indonesia uh, back yes so the the, the the bike donated by companies and we we exercise. It works, it just uh, since I become a mayor the community lost the the commitment. Yeah. yeah. So I'm too busy also. So but now as a mayor I want to really reinvent the yeah. response. Yeah. Uh, that's why maybe by your assistance I'm very serious how to to engage this culture into into something for Bandung. Yes. Uh, because the weather in Bandung is very nice. Yes, it so is. it means I have a very strong confidence that this might work. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I have to modify our bus to be bike friendly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We need to have option for mother with the kids yes. to have a special bike. Yes. So, something that the thing we want to do. Yeah. So I think, Mr. Ambassador, if in this bike we can have uh, an MOU, yeah. uh, a letter of intent at yes. least, so I can have uh, a legal reference Absolutely. To, to start this collaboration. Yeah. Well, no problem, we would be very happy to do something. If we can do something this year uh, for the bike thing, yeah. maybe next year we can launch a full-scale cooperation. That would be a very a great... Uh, but why don't we, if you agree, Mayor, why don't we try and do either in May or in June, we do a Viking Viking, the Viking in, event here, and we use this as a, as a kickstart, and we, <laughs> uh, we develop an MOU, and we will, uh, from the embassy side, get in touch with the uh, municipality of Copenhagen and try and connect you with them. There are also some some private companies that are specializing in uh, in urban planning that could be interesting to bring down. And I'm, I'm, I'm brainstorming with you, but we could perhaps do sort of a seminar in Bandung with focus on urban planning, on livable cities, where we bring some of these people in uh, also with an architectural point of view and, and, and do some good stuff with you. We would uh, we would also have the possibility to support that with uh, with funds from our from our own budget. Um, so I think that would be fantastic. And then Michael, perhaps you could say a few words about uh, our other urban 
yes. uh, dimension that we are planning to do as well. Because yes, I think it just, fits together. just yeah. two, two words, but um, maybe two elements, because as Kasper says, we are actually working on this urban spaces or uh, so urban sustainable planning in, in different ways. Uh, one of them is uh, we are supporting uh, Bapanas and their endeavors to, uh, to, uh, to build and to construct uh, new cities, new urban sort of sustainable uh, cities. Uh, I believe that, that uh, Bapanas are now sort of initiated a work to, to, to develop a concept for how to, to do sustainable sort of, uh, cities from the start. And they are toying with the idea of actually establishing, I think, 10 new cities around, uh, around Indonesia. Uh, so we, we had the pleasure to invite um, the, the Minister of, uh, of uh, Bapanas, uh, 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 to, to Copenhagen. Only a few weeks, weeks back we met with colleagues from, from Copenhagen City and met with the, you know, the urban planners and so forth and learned a little bit about what we've done in Copenhagen. That's one strand. Another strand we're working on is together with, I believe, one of your colleagues, Baberni Junikutro. Yeah, the yeah. head of uh, Indonesian Association for Planners. Exactly. Baberni has a, a good collaboration with a Danish architect and city planner called uh, Jan Gehl, who, who you may know. Yeah, I, I met him. I met Jan Gehl, I think, last year in Singapore. I see. In the world. Mayor's Forum. Okay. Well, he presented. I think we have a picture of both oh, of us. Very nice. So he, of course, has some my interesting, idol. Yeah, yes. he has some interesting ideas on urban spaces and these kind of things. And you probably know his book then as well, which I think is yeah. called Urban Spaces or something like that. And um, Baboni is, is again toying with the idea of seeing if that book could be translated somehow to Bahasa English. If you can bring Jan Gyal to Bandung and have a Great lecture, but but that's the idea of having this seminar that we could perhaps use these different things together and have we do something special for Bandung with focus on urban planning on livable cities. It would be uh, very interesting. It's like biking culture blueprint or biking culture master plan. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Because I I just don't want to do just upgrading the infrastructure. Yeah. I want to to change the mindset mm -hmm. and yeah. take some time. But we should do that. We we can use. Uh, it's it's going to be an important year for us in Indonesia because uh, our queen uh, will be visiting Indonesia on an official state visit in October. Um, so that means that there is a lot of focus on Indonesia in Denmark and in Copenhagen and in my own ministry, but also more generally. So so we want, we want to misuse this focus by doing a lot of activities and I think doing something with you in Bandung also with your with your background is something that would be fantastic for us and we'd be very proud to to focus on urban planning, livable cities, biking, because those those things are where, where I think we have a, a sort of shared legacy and a shared vision as well. Um, so you know, if, I think we should just put it into our notebooks that we will definitely do both uh, these two things. I mean, the, the seminar, we can do the seminar in, in, in autumn, September, and then we do the biking, biking in, in May or June when, <laughs> when it fits into your uh, agenda. Uh, good thing is we have millions of Viking members, <laughs> so I'll, I'll ask them to... Peaceful, <laughs> peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> Bandung version of Viking. <laughs> So I asked them to do something new, which is biking. Yes. <laughs> let, let me let me organize and get back to you Fantastic. about the timing. Fantastic. But looking forward to it. Uh, for example, for example, mm -hmm. I'm encouraging bike to school. Yes. Coba uh, ke ke foto yang itu to give a reward to school who has more student with uh, bike to school populations. Yes. Maybe it's a cultural diplomacy. Absolutely. For example, yeah, the embassy yeah. of Denmark uh, will give something to the school to yeah. promote bike to school. Uh, we'll find a way creatively, but I think uh, that should start the, the conversation yeah. between my people and your country yeah. with this biking diplomacy. Yeah. It fits perfectly. You know, the, the bike that uh, Governor Ahok took me around in, it's my private bike. Oh, yeah, private bike. And we took it from Denmark. And uh, when we lived in Copenhagen, 
this is what I took both of my kids to school and to kindergarten in. You know, they were sitting in, in, in the front when I took them there, and then I went to uh, to the foreign ministry afterwards. And and the number of cargo bikes, I don't, I don't have the you actual it, numbers. You, you call it cargo bike? We call, well, we, we call it a cargo bike, or we call it a Christiania bike. You know Christiania? You know, this, this is the, the, um, the very special place in Copenhagen uh -huh. where it's sort of a hippie town, which is um, it's self-ruled to some extent. It's, it's very much left alone. Oh, it, I know, I've been there. It's very famous. It's but across you, you the can, river, you right? You can buy cannabis. That's what it's yeah, famous for. Uh, um, but um, it's famous for other things. It's actually an old army barracks area. It's beautiful also from an architectural point of view. Across the river, I mean. Across the river. It's like a closed society. Isn't and it? they are the ones that built these bikes originally. And they have become very bourgeois. So every you know, family like us, we have one of these bikes and we take our kids around it. Um, and that's actually a very good thing also for kids, especially the smaller kids, because safety-wise... So cargo bikes in Denmark? Chris Jania bike. Mm -hmm. with this, so that means when the weather is very bad and rainy, oh. the kids are just sitting... Oh, yeah, the kids are sitting inside, and they will not get the wet or... We have cargo bike named Becha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 Rickshaw. Yeah. So, um, and I'll, I'll tell you what we can do, Mayor, because we're getting a new Christiania bike. And it could be the, the virgin uh, voyage that we bring to Bandung. It oh, would be painted in the colors of Indonesia and, and Denmark, so white and uh, red. So we could sort of um, inaugurate that bike here in, in Bandung for uh, a Viking Viking uh, event. And then you would be uh, driving it. Okay. Yeah. Good. Listen, Mayor, we've already thank you too much of time. I just want to mention one more thing, if, if okay with you, because we are, first of all, we're trying to expand the relationship between Denmark and Indonesia. It's it's not where it should be. Trade is very low. People don't know, understand how important Indonesia is and how big Indonesia is and the potential, and we're, we're trying to fix that. Um, Can we do yesterday? Yeah, but let me give you one in my cell phone. Um, so, so. We are preparing what we call uh, a Bandung festival to the yeah. world. Yeah. Uh, but this year we will start our festival in Korea. In Korea? Yeah. Okay. We bring uh, the group of uh, Bandung artists and talents and creative products. Yeah. Uh, we open restaurant in Korea yeah. uh, uh, first time. So uh, we want to do the same. Uh, if Denmark is ready, we want to have the same thing for next year. Mm -hmm. Let's prepare for now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe during the summer. Uh, and vice versa, mm -hmm. if you have a, can bring a Danish festival to Bandung, mm -hmm. yeah. And also we can host artists in residence. Mm -hmm. You just provide them the ticket to come to Bandung. Mm -hmm. The rest will take care by us. The accommodation. The Everything here. So this is how we want to offer to our to our strategic uh, uh, friends in in other cities, uh, maybe with the Copenhagen artists, for example. Fantastic. Uh, one thing we are very eager to learn from Denmark is not only the biking but also design. Yes. Uh, I think Danish design is very Absolutely. very well known, yeah. and Bandung wants to be a design city. As you can see, as a mayor, I try to change the way we look as uh, an <laughs> office, uh, yes. government office. It's the most cool uh, municipality <laughs> I've ever visited before. And I will try and do the same with the Danish embassy, but I'm not sure I will succeed. What did I hear? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. See, uh, Asia Europe Art Camp is put in Bandung. So yes. we are, have very <coughs> strong experience in connecting Europe to Asia in, in Bandung. Fantastic. So. Uh, we can talk about that one. Yeah. We, we're a big supporter of yeah. ASIF, by the way. Either so. Bandung to Denmark or Denmark yeah. to Bandung. Yeah. Or, as you said, you bring uh, uh, apprentice yeah, exactly. and working in maestro yeah. uh, for some time. Uh, at the end, they will have a very strong experience. Yes. Bandung have many spots of great, uh, like Pasunario, for example, yeah? Yeah. The, the, the artists. Uh, from sculpture, from any kind of form of arts. Yeah. So, uh, Bandung in the art scene in Indonesia, known as a 
is an experimental art. It's totally different with Bali or Jogja. Yes. Jogja and Bali is very skillful. Yeah. Very, you know. But also very traditional. Yeah. But Bandung is really expression of of uh, uh, experiment, expression of new things. Yes. Yes. Uh, There's so, so many, many things, things to, to do. do. Huh? Yeah. Uh, we want to engage with the, the the Danish people, the Denmark government, and. Pa Anwar here is our uh, external relations officer. He handles uh, communication with outside the government's uh, relations. We should get his phone number. Yeah. Yeah. Very important. <laughs> Very important guy. You have in my card. I have a mobile number there. Is the mobile number? I need the mobile number. Yes. Ibu Kamalia is part of uh, is the head of our planning department. So well. when the, the the seminar Bu ya yeah. uh, tentang yeah. master plan untuk bersepeda itu super super good idea. Thank you very much. Great. Fantastic. Nice to meet you and see you, see you next time yeah. A little bit longer than yeah. Yes. Uh, a little longer than yesterday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh yeah. That's what I have. This is the the same way. This is the the is the 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 so all in one. <laughs> we should have a small bike here. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I have something for you as well. When the time comes. When the time comes. Okay. First, something which is very typical Danish. Um, it's uh, well, you you have to open it yourself, otherwise I will not be here. This is um, very H H H G Anderson and uh, something that. Uh, oh, is he Anderson? I went to this uh, mermaid. Yeah, the little mermaid. Yeah, yeah. It's very small. Frozen by by snow. Yeah. Oh. Okay. This is in front of the royal uh, castle as well. So um, um, very typical, very typical range. But in the colors of Indonesia. <laughs>